turn your attention to your breath. Just start by breathing in deeply and breathing out completely. Just do this a few times. Really letting yourself relax with each exhalation. And then let your breath find a comfortable rhythm. You don't have to breathe any special way, but just be aware as you breathe in that you're breathing in. And be aware as you breathe out that you're breathing out. And now begin to let this phrase ride on your breath. May I be happy. May I be free from animosity. May I be free from troubles of body and mind. May all beings be happy. May all beings be free from animosity. May all beings be free from troubles of body and mind. Now call to mind a good friend. This should be someone that you enjoy being around. Maybe someone who's helped you out in some way. One of those people you can call on if you need help. Begin thinking of things that you've received from this person. What have you received from them? If this is someone you see a lot and spend a lot of time with, you might just want to think about the last week or so. What are some of the main things you've gotten from this person?
And don't forget about little things like when they give you a smile or a joke. Open a door for you. Give you advice, moral support. And now consider what have you given to that person? Sometimes we find as we analyze our relationships that we get a lot more than we give. So don't beat up on yourself about this. Just examining what goes on in your relationship with this person. This is really an exercise in self-awareness. And now ask yourself, what troubles have I caused this person? This is a little harder sometimes. We don't want to think of ourselves as causing trouble. Again, it's just a way of looking at the way you deal with the world. It's impossible to live in the world without taking something out of it. Finally, think of a few reasons this person has for gratitude. Have they had any good fortune? A 
And this can be hard sometimes too. It might be that your friend is experiencing some difficulty. But you know that difficulty passes. And so think about how nice it's going to be when they've worked through their problem. But maybe they've gotten married or gotten a new job. Maybe they found some food at the grocery store that they liked. Or maybe they've started on some spiritual path. And if you have trouble, you can think about some of your own good fortune. You have food to eat. You have a roof over your head. Your friend has that too. So just Imagine them with their good fortune and just wish for them, may you keep your good fortune. And now think of a loved one, maybe one of your parents, spouse, child, someone who's very dear to your heart. And we'll start with these three questions. What have I received? What have I given? What trouble have I caused? Sometimes the list of what we receive from our loved ones is really, really long. So don't try to enumerate everything. Just sort of see what arises as you look over your relationship and what you've received from this person. What have I given that person?
What troubles have I caused them? And now call to mind any good fortune you're aware that they have. May they enjoy their good fortune. Now we'll do the same process with an acquaintance, someone who's kind of neutral, not someone you like or particularly dislike, maybe somebody you work with that you don't know very well yet, or someone you see at the store. A neighbor you don't really talk to. And so when you're looking at what you get from them, It can be a challenge, but think about this. We're all very interdependent. If this person does a job or has done a job, how did you benefit from it? Maybe they work at the grocery store putting food on the shelf so you don't have to go in the warehouse and Pull it out of the boxes yourself. What have I given them? And remember, you've had a career. You've contributed to the world you live in. They've benefited from that. And what trouble have I caused?
And now think of somebody you're having difficulty with. And go through the same process with them. What do you receive from them? And this can be a real challenge. And a lot of the time it's because we don't want to acknowledge that we're getting gifts from the people that we're having conflicts with. Sometimes the conflict itself can be a gift. You learn from your anger how to manage what goes on in your own mind. If everyone was agreeable to be There'd be no enlightenment. The Buddha needs non-Buddhas. What have I given them? What trouble have I caused? Maybe you reacted angrily to something, even if it's, <coughs> even if you feel it's justified, you still cause trouble. And now think of any good fortune that they have. May you enjoy your good fortune. And now think about all beings. We're supported in so many ways. The food we eat, even if we're vegetarians, you know, it's impossible to eat without something being killed. Even if it's only insects or tomato worms or something. If we drive on a road, someone built the road. Some of these roads in Florida are made out of on shell beds. Some of those shells are thousands of years old. 
many snails gave us those shells that some of these old roads were paved with and new roads built on top of that all these things done by other people the medicine we get the educations we got entertainment so much comes from others and just thinking about today what have you given Have you caused any trouble? And the answer is, of course, you have. You drove, <coughs> you affected the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. We can't live without taking things out of the environment. But now we can think about this good fortune that we have, all that we receive from all beings, and realize we're all supporting one another. We all have this good fortune. And there are people who are like us, who are working toward enlightenment, and we do this for the benefit of all others. So that right there is good fortune for all beings. May all beings appreciate their good fortune. Think about your gratitude extending out from your heart to include all beings everywhere. Whatever walks on the ground or flies in the air or swims in the water. All beings in all directions. May they all enjoy their good fortune. When the bell rings to end the meditation, just take a couple of breaths. Feel yourself in your surroundings. And then if you'd like, when it rings the second time, you can bring your hands together in front of your chest in gasho, symbolizing oneness. <coughs> 